Happy Martini Monday. Except today it's not a martini. It's a glass of Prosecco with a splash of grapefruit juice just because I'm feeling a little extra spicy. Hi everyone, hope that you guys are doing well. I know I haven't had a Martini Monday up for a couple of weeks, so here we are, cheers. If I'm looking extra pink and red and festive, it is because I'm filming this right before Valentine's Day and I just filmed my eyeshadow palette recommendations for Valentine's Day and just the month of February in general. So if you haven't watched that video, I'll link it. All I did was change out my earrings. I finally bought the super hyped viral earrings a year too late because that's how I always roll. And in that other video, I wore the silver ones and I decided to switch it up and change into the gold ones also because i want to know your opinion i want to know which ones do you think look better on me granted same eye look i just put a little bit of a gloss on top of the lip which i'm sorry does have a cold sore i've been carefully applying it not directly from any sort of tube obviously i feel like the gold earrings would look better if i had you know like a more earthy toned eye look on a brown smoky eye or whatever or even just a very simple brown eye look with maybe not like a pink or a purple shirt but as i said i was filming for something else and decided since I have a half an hour before I need to run out for a little dinner date with myself actually I decided to take myself out on a pre Valentine's Day situation um <laughs> since I have a half an hour I wanted to quickly film a second video and what you guys are getting today is my little mini project pan I've been wrecking my brain and thinking should I shouldn't I should I shouldn't I because and this is a perfect segue if you're new to my channel then hi welcome my name is Natalia and I love all things beauty and I am this year specifically trying to use as many of the products in my own collection and rotate through as many things as possible so I can discover or rediscover things that are already here in my apartment and bring less in. So if you're interested in a mixed bag of content with some old, some new, some project panning, some shop my stash and just a lot of chit chat about makeup in general then I hope you will consider subscribing. But yeah the reason for why I I was really on the fence about whether I should do a project pan or not is because I'm trying to rotate through things. So if I zero in on a chunk of products, especially considering I don't wear makeup every day, it's really going to limit my use everywhere else in my collection. I decided on a little compromise. I still want to do a project pan, but I'm going to A, pick easier products or do a usage count and B, have a goal of trying to get through either use up or hit pan or whatnot on 24 products instead of starting off with 24 products and then rotating even more in and out. I hope that makes sense. So basically the goal is throughout this year to work on 24 products total instead of at a time. So I have a little basket of things here. I think I'm starting out with 12, which is actually quite a bit, but these are all that I've just been throwing in as I go all throughout January. And this is kind of what we landed on. There's only, I think, one category that's a duplicate and you'll see why. And everything else is just a hodgepodge of stuff. I don't even know, honestly, if I'm going to be like very meticulous with marking things and measuring things and weighing things. I used to do that in 2020 and 2021. I don't know if I have it in me, honestly, this year. If I want to film more videos, I got to be a little more efficient. And I don't feel like any of these products really require that. Let's start off with two products that are really old in my collection that I really feel like I need to see usage on. And then if I don't use them up, I need to trash them. They're both from Smashbox. And it's my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, which I don't see a problem using up. Because I'll be honest, I rolled this in on January 1st and I want to say it was like there. I've been using it. I've been using it all of January and you know now half of February and I, I think this is going to be not only something I use up but hopefully something then that I can roll another product into to accomplish my goal of 24. And then we have the uh, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This I might mark. I'll see, you know, with a Sharpie or something, even though those tend to rub off after a while. We'll see how I do. But if anything, like we have this video to refer to, right? I can always take a screenshot and you guys can see where we're at now. There's a bunch of disgusting things floating in there. We're going to ignore that and we're going to pretend this is still safe to use. Most likely, I will use this to spray my eyeshadow just because it is old. I don't know if I want it all over my face. We'll see how I end up figuring out 
out a way to use this up, but it needs to, I, as I said, it needs to, I think, either be used up or at the end of this year, it needs to go. For other like face type products, um, I actually have another primer that I threw in here just because it's such a mini. This is the Pure Correcting Primer in Illuminate and Glow. I've used it a few times so far in January, but I, uh, I've been focusing on this. So we'll see. This might be one I put on the back burner and come back to once I use up the Smashbox. I threw it in here just because it is something I want to use up. I want to go through as many of my minis as possible this year. My Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. Not because I want to get rid of it, but because I love it so much that I can see myself using it up. I have no idea how much is in here, but it's so light. I really have a feeling that especially when spring hits, this is going to be done so quickly and so easily, and then I can focus on maybe a different foundation or a tinted moisturizer or something for the rest of the year. Oh. This I put in just to hold myself more accountable. I'm notorious for using mascara for way longer than I'm supposed to be using it. So I actually opened this today, February 12th or whatever, whatever day is today. And this is the e.l.f. Lash Beats Defining and Lengthening Mascara. I opened it today to try it with this eye look. I am putting it in this video because I don't plan on doing monthly updates. I plan on doing bi-monthly or quarterly updates. So when I update either the next one or definitely the one after that, it I will know it's time for this to get tossed. Um, I have two powders. One, because I recently repressed it and I've been using it again. This was one that was in a former project pan. It's from Physicians Formula. It's their Youthful Wear Youth Boosting Powder. I don't know if they even still make this anymore, but this was one that was almost brand new and I rolled it into a project pan a couple of years ago and I almost finished it, but I still had product on the sides and I decided this is the year. Moment of truth, all or nothing. Either I'm using this thing up or I'm throwing it out. So I repressed it finally and it is back in the game. And the other one I'd like to use up because it is a couple of years old now and it's lost its high perfumed luxury designer scent. I think it's been reformulated or completely discontinued and I'm just worried it's gonna go bad and it's expensive. It's my Dior powder, no powder powder. I don't have pan yet. I'm gonna say for now I want to at least hit pan. Ideally I want to use this up because I think it is already starting to slowly turn into that smell, you know, that crayon smell. So this is one that I really do think if I don't use it up this year probably I will need to just toss which will be very unfortunate. Um, for bronzer, another one that used to be in a project pan and I am pretty close. I mean th this is still a lot of bronzer for those of you guys that know that pan you know this is still a lot of bronzer it's still gonna take me time but it's obviously a lot less bronzer than what we started with so I'm hoping to use this up this year and this is a very light bronzer so it's perfect for me now winter time because most bronzers are too dark on me in the winter time and this one is absolutely ideal I can go ham with this and it'll still be fine oh this is I didn't even mention this is from car cover effects it's just called bronzer and it's in this shade sunkissed don't think they make this anymore unfortunately because as I said if you were like super duper pale and if this is still being made and all bronzers pull either too orange or too dark on you I would have recommend this to you if it's possible to still get your hands on it because it's a very neutral almost slightly rosy leaning bronze I mean I don't even want to say that because I feel like that throws people off but it is more of a neutral cool bronzer. And I do find that even though I'm a neutral warm undertone, during the winter months when I'm at my palest, if, if my bronzer even is a smidge too brown or too orange, too warm or too orange, it, it just looks wrong. It, it just gives all sorts of Oompa Loompa vibes that I do not want. So I really like this bronzer during the winter and I'm actually gonna be really sad when this is gone. But at this point, I'm like, I, I just, I, I need to, I need to get it out of here. Couple of products that I think are gonna be a little challenging for me to use up and one is actually a usage goal. And for those of you that wear makeup, you're probably gonna laugh at me uh, because my usage goal for the say, what are you? Your is always the kind of font that 40 plus year olds cannot read. This is the Glowy Super Gel Star Glow. And I don't know if Star Glow is the shade or what, but this is a liquid highlighter and it's a fairly subtle liquid highlighter. I have a lot of highlighters. 
highlighters. I'd like to go through my highlighters this year. So my usage goal is going to be 24 times for the entire year. And I will tell you, I'm not even sure I can do that, but we're going to try. So that's that. Oh, I oh. missed um, concealer. This is the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. I want to say this is shade two. Yes, I also have shade three, which ironically enough is almost like a little bit lighter than this. This is more warm and slightly deeper. This is one I've been using for a while. Even the stopper is already out and I just want to use it up. So that's why it is in here. It is in the project pan because I actually have uh, a new, a couple of new concealers that came into my life in the past few months. I have a NYX one that I am experimenting with and trying. I have the Tower 28 one that I've only had for a few months and I'm using today for the very first time, finally, the Natasha Denona concealer. I mean, this has been talked about in 2023 so much. It was like in everybody's favorites. I really wanted this. I didn't want to spend the $30 on it. And the only reason I purchased it is if you saw my last video, you already know is because this girl somehow, somehow, I still don't understand how, managed to get an affiliate link and a one-time use 15% off code with Natasha Denona. So guess who I used as a guinea pig to make sure it's not a joke and Natasha Denona is not laughing at me and it actually works. Yes, on myself. I actually decided that I'm going to buy the corrector. The I got the lighter shade. I'm almost wondering if I should have gone one up, but regardless, I got the lighter shade of the corrector and I got the concealer also, I think in the lighter shade. This is N1. I don't remember what the lighter shade is, but this is neutral one. I'm wearing it for the first time today. So far, I wouldn't call it completely crease proof. I, I would definitely not call this mascara completely transfer proof. Oh, oh elf, you're not starting off so good. Uh, this looks like it's going to be an upper, upper lash line mascara only for me. But yeah, this, so this concealer has claims of being self-setting. And I do have to say, probably so far in my collection, it is the most self-setting concealer. But please take this with a grain of salt. I'm using it for the first time today. All right, we got two more products because I promised you guys 12 products. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, we have a bonus. We have a 13. But th so these are the 12 products. An eyeshadow primer potion. This is the original Urban Decay. It's because it's a mini and I just want to use up stuff. So it just was the most logical to throw in here and get it done. And the bonus is a lip mask. It's the Tatcha, the Kisu lip mask. And the only reason I'm throwing it in here is again, kind of like as a accountability reminder for me to use it because it's Tatcha, it's expensive and I don't want it to go bad. My um, Laneige one, because it's a ginormous tub, did end up spoiling last year and I only used half of it. So I don't want this to have the same fate. And I want to remind myself to keep using this because lately I've busted into my Sigma one. This is the Sigma Hydro Melt Lip Mask in Tranquil. I got this in my goodie bag when I went to Vegas for the Creators and Friends holiday party. And so far, I've been really liking that lip mask. So I'm worried that I'm going to completely forget about this thing. And I don't want to do that because gotcha. Costly want to use up especially my high-end makeup this year and that's that that's really it for my project pan i want to keep it really nice and simple this year and i will come back in a few months and update you guys see if we have any empties or at least any significant usage on this uh, oh did i mention this no i forgot to talk about the nyx uh fat oil lip drip whatever this is the original one not the duck one not the one in the clicky tube or whatever other ones they've come out with. This is the original one. This is the first one I opened and started actively using. As you can see, it is what I'm wearing over Natasha Denona. I need a, is it I need a nude or no, it's her Natasha, like her My Dream pencil, I think in the shade Natasha. Um, but yeah, it's what I'm wearing on top of that. I just put it on my hand and use my finger because again, cold sore. It was interesting because this product was stuck up here and it had a really large stopper. And then when I pulled out the stopper, all the product finally came back down. And I actually do still have much more than I thought I did because I was scraping the bottom. But then, as I said, as soon as I took the stopper out, all of the product on the sides kind of dripped back down. And now it's actually quite messy. When I pull it out, you could see, right, the whole applicator is covered in product. Yeah, that's how much we have left of this one. And I have two other shades. I'm trying to be good and not open the other shades until I use one up. And now, 
that is it now that is definitely it i think i've talked about all 12 plus a bonus products let me know what you think let me know if you're doing a project pan if your creator who's doing a project pan definitely let me know down below i'd love to come watch and support and keep up with your project i actually do really enjoy project pan videos and other than that i hope that you enjoyed this i hope that you guys are all doing really really well thank you for joining me for a prosecco kind of martini monday and um yeah yeah uh, uh, clearly have nothing else to say. Other than that, one more reminder to please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope that you guys are all doing really, really well, that you're continuing to stay safe and healthy, take care of yourselves and those around you, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Cheers and bye guys!